Deuteronomy is a book of instruction. In the first five chapters, Moses reminds a new generation of God's past faithfulness. Chapters 6 through 11, Moses instructs the people how and why they should walk in obedience to God. And you could say that starting in chapter 12 through the end of the book, Moses is instructing the people how to enjoy God's blessing upon their lives by living according to the laws of God now that they're no longer slaves in Egypt or wandering through the wilderness, but conquerors in the land of promise. You see, chapter 12 is all about worship, the place of worship, the practice of worship, the purity of worship that God desired. Listen to what Moses says in verse 4. Do not worship the Lord your God in the way these pagan peoples worship their gods. Rather, you must seek the Lord your God at the place of worship he himself will choose from among all the tribes, the place where his name will be honored. He goes on to explain the offerings in verse 6, and then in verse 7 he says, There you and your families will feast in the presence of the Lord your God, and you will rejoice in all you have accomplished, because the Lord your God has blessed you. You see, worship of God was to be different and it was to be filled with joy. This reminds me of the kind of worship God has called us today. Romans chapter 12 says, and so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and the customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. See, today, let me encourage you to worship God with all that you have, head, heart, and hands. Let him transform you, and may you live out his plan and his will for you, that truly is good, pleasing, and perfect.